This will officially be the longest video I've ever posted on this channel. Alright, so we got ice cream sandwich today. Normally that would say Sprint, but I've changed it. I'm currently running Mean Rom, and I've downloaded the this right here, which is the firmware update. I downloaded the ROM and I also downloaded the SU fix. So you need those three things. This has to be on the root directory, and these can be anywhere. Um, I'm not going to do a backup, but I highly recommend you do so. Um, I just ran Titanium Backup, as you see, and I backed up all my newer apps, and I backed up my modified data. So all that's on my SD card. All right, here we go. First thing we're going to do is reboot into recovery. Now, you can run any recovery, I assume. I am currently running what you're going to see in a second. Okay, I'm going to install zip. Go in the folder I place everything in. I'm going to run the modified super wipe. Oh wow, that's really bad. I'll hold it again. Stop doing that. I'm recording this video by Transformer Prime. This is terrible. So many people say that I speed up my videos and I shouldn't do that and should show people the process. <laughs> what people don't understand is it would be an hour long video then especially if you're running into trouble if you heard that that was my stomach growling I'm pretty much killing my lunch break doing this video I've never done this before. This this super wipe right here. I've done one, but this one's modified. I've never done that. That's taken that long. I mean, it does everything: the cache system, data, boot. Quit doing that. Stop. Dang it. <laughs> I am so impatient. Usually I can leave the room and
come back and then cut the video right where it finished and then start the video from what I do next but that's not the case this time no not this time this is taking forever I'm not gonna do this in time If you could do me a favor, if you're listening to this right now, if you haven't skipped to the end, give the like button a little bitty click, just a little one, please. It vibrated. Or, okay, that was because I touched it. Oh my god. I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm gonna fall asleep. Can somebody wake me when this is done? Because this is taking a long time. Why must you take so long? This is literally going to take more time than I have. Oh! Okay. We do not want to reboot. We want to go home. Now we want to install. And then the Viper ROM. And then, yes. This one has a little bar that pops up. Like with Mean Rom, there's a little bar that fills up so it lets you know. Because I know no one's going to sit there and listen to all this. Stop doing that. Looks like crap on here. You're gonna have to flash that SU zip right after this. And then I can't even boot to the system yet. I'm doing things opposite. They want you to install the radio, the firmware update to work and then do this. But I'm kind of doing it the other way around because I don't see a problem with it as long as I don't boot the system right after all this is done instead of rebooting the system I'm going to shut down because once you boot to bootloader the PG86 whatever it's called it's going to automatically start and go do you want to start the update or do you want to cancel the update if you cancel you reboot the system so it's like you've got to remove the file from your SD card or you gotta boot the system and then tell it to reboot the recovery instead of bootloader. So instead of using two SD cards or, or just to me this is the best method if it works. We'll see. It's about right there. Teamwin is awesome. I love touch recovery. The only reason I don't use Couch's Clockwork Mod touch recovery is because you can't mount the SD card, and uh, if your phone is off, it will not charge. It has to be booted to the system in order for it to charge, or at least the last version I tried. I think it was 5818. So I gave up on it.
I'd rather use a recovery that works. Stop doing that. Chad Goodman is making a kernel for this thing. Okay. Again, we need to go to home. Why won't you go home? <gasps> Don't mess up on me. We need to install this. What? Install super user fix. Sweet. Okay. Now home. We're gonna try rebooting to bootloader. I don't know if this method will find that zip or if I'll have to manually do it. We're reboot bootloader. Wow, it's not in focus at all. Okay, if this doesn't work, I will definitely try to manually power it down. Alright, I don't think it's going to detect that zip. So we'll do it this way. Now it should detect that zip. There we go. You'll see my radio up there. All my information. Yes. I haven't booted the system yet, and the ice cream sandwich is on it, so I don't think there's going to be an issue. What they want you to do is do this. Then I guess you power the phone down take the SD card out, put it in your computer, delete the PGA zip that this is going to pop up every time you reboot because um, you can't get the recovery without going through the screen first from from your phone being shut down all the way. I don't, rather, I don't have two SD cards and I don't have a computer to plug my SD card into to delete a file. So this should work. Come on. I'll test out WiMAX. I'm in a quiet little area, and WiMAX only gets like not even a bar. So that should still work though. And then it's going to want to press power to restart. And after you restart, you'll definitely want to get rid of that PG8 zip. Otherwise, every time you try to get, every time you hold down power mm. and volume down, it's going to go into bootloader. And then it's going to want you to accept that, accept that zip or decline it. Hmm, that's pretty cool. The last time I tried Viper ROM was 1.3. I've been using Mean ROM since then. I hate 